Okay, so typing out all of the different properties of exponents is kind of hard. So we're I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm just going to go through them in this video. Uh, hopefully I don't remember, forget any. Um, so we're going to start with uh, multiplication. And multiplication, if we have a to the n times a to the m, we get a to the n plus m. Okay, you do know, note that a is the same for both. Okay, and n could be, n and m could be the same thing, but they don't have to be. Um, you do have to have the same base though, so this is called our base, and this is called our exponent, and our base has to be the same, and then we can add our exponents. So if we multiply two exponents, two bases with exponents together, we can add the exponents. So let's look at this. Um, if we had uh, 4 squared times 4 to the third power, that would give us 4 to the fifth power. And if you want to multiply that out, put that in a calculator, uh, 4 to the second power is 16. 4 to the third power is 64. And so look at that on our calculator. 16 times 64 is 1,024. And if you similarly do 4 to the fifth power, it is also 1,024. Okay, so you can verify that. Um, and this will always be true. If you raise, and, and we could write this out, remember, remember exponents mean just that we are multiplying over and over and over again, right? So 4 to the second power is the same thing as 4 times 4. 4 to the third power is 4 times 4 times 4. And we're multiplying those two. So really we have 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. I mean that, by definition, is the exponent 4 to the fifth power, okay? Um, that's multiplication. Division. Again, we have the same base. So a to the n divided by a to the m is equal to a to the n minus m. Okay, just very similar to what we did before. Um, so let's do a similar example. We have 4 to the third divided by 4 to the second power. This just gives us 4. Okay, and if we were to write this out, we'd have 4 times 4 times 4 divided by 4 times 4. Well, those two are going to cancel out and just give us 1, right? 4 divided by 4 is 1. And remember, multiplication and division are on the same level, so they can go in either order. So divide by 4 uh, in each of those, it just leaves us with a 1. Um, multiplying, and we already did this to kind of start this day off, uh, X power to a power, power to a power. So if we had um, a to the n raised to the mth power, I only use that because it's fun to say, then we would have a to the n times m. And we showed this in a previous slide, but just as an example, uh, if we had 2 to the third raised to the second power, uh, we did it with a with a square root with a with a fraction, but that's okay. Um, this would be two to the third times two to the third, and two to the third is just two times two times two, and two times two times two, and that gives us two to the sixth power. Um, so you notice that we multiplied our our exponent. We multiply the exponent on the inside by the exponent on the outside. And so that gives us uh, the, the product of the two exponents, okay? Um, I'm out of room on here, so I'm going to erase all of this. Hopefully you've got it written down. If not, you can always pause the video. I'm going to erase all of this, and then we're going to go over one other thing. And that is what happens if we have something 
we went over, well, I guess we could do radicals too. So what happens if we have a to the negative n? So what happens when we have a negative exponent? Well, if we have a negative exponent, it's the same thing as 1 over a to the positive exponent. Okay, and similarly, 1 over a to a negative exponent would be a to the positive exponent. Okay, and this will come in handy a lot. So, just as an example, 2 to the negative third power is equal to 1 over 2 to the third power, which is equal to 1 over 8. Or 1 over 2 to the negative third power would equal 2 to the third power would equal 8. Okay, and then we've already talked about this a little bit. When we have a fraction, um, so a to the n over m, let's call it, let's say that, a to the n over m is equal to the root, the mth root of a to the n. Okay, so just an example, uh, if we had 2, now let's use 8, 8 will work nicer, nicer, work better. Uh, if we had 8 raised to the 2 thirds. This would be, it almost doesn't look right, 8 raised to the 2 thirds would equal the mth root, which is our denominator, so a cubed root of 8 squared. Okay, cubed root of 8 squared. Well, we could look at, we could use our properties of exponents and kind of break this down. Um, we know that 8 to the 2 thirds is the same thing as 8 to the 1 third squared, right? Because if we multiply 2 times 1 third, we get 2 thirds. Um, so these are equal. If we take the cubed root of 8, because this is the cubed root of 8, we get 2. And so now we have 2 to the second power, which is equal to Okay, um, there are other minor variations on these, but these are the four properties that you're going to want to use the most and use the most to be able to solve your problems. Okay, um, don't don't get caught up in things like a to the m plus a to the n equaling something. It we don't have we can't put our exponents together when we do that. Okay, so don't don't do that. Um, same thing with subtraction. It's, it's a multiplication, division, uh, square root, and exponent thing. Okay, which is, that's, a, that's all multiplication and division. Okay, um, that's it for this video.